Now, friends, we're going to the answer to that age-old question as to who is the better man, the boxer or the wrestler. The wrestlers are represented by P.O. Pico. The announcer is introducing the boys now. Lux is on your right here corner, and he comes out and takes the professional bow as the fan butt and P.O. Pico, the fighter here, exercises as the bell goes and the boys meet in the center of the ring. Neither one apparently knows just exactly what to expect from the other, and there goes Lutz after the fighters, too, but back he goes into the ropes, and the referee, the former world champion Max Bear, breaks them. Back they go out in the center of the ring, and Lutz takes a light left to the jaw, but he's used to taking them without those boxing gloves on. What, uh, what harm can that do to him? He goes backing away and socking away as Lutz goes after that foot of his again, and Lutz almost had it there that time, and now he's after him again, but no, P.O. Pico rolled out of that and rolled over to the ropes, and Max Bear, whom you'll notice is on his toes every single minute here, breaks the two boys, and they break cleanly. And now let's see what's going to happen here. Lutz after that toe again. Of course, that's the only way he can do this. He's got to get down under that boxer's guard all the time. And it looks there now as though he's going to have him down. But P.O. Pico knows a little something and comes to a restless bridge as the bell saves him that time. Well, that's a quick one. Our photographer was in a hurry tonight, so the boys come out for round two. And they're each being very cautious, looking each other over very carefully. Nick Lutz backpedaling away and then ducking in under that guard and he's after that toe again. He's got that go-behind toe hold this time, but P.O. Pico has seen some of these wrestlers work and he crawls for the rope and he's saved again. And Max Bear brings the two boys together out in the center. Nick Lutz standing there waiting for Pico to bring the fight to him, but Pico doesn't care to do that. He's peddling around there now, chasing Lutz. Lutz backing away slowly, waiting for that opening, and when it comes, he's going to move like lightning, and he takes a light left to the face. No harm done there that time. Pico just doesn't dare get in close to the uh, giant former lifeguard there because he's got that long reach, and if he wants to get those hands on P.O. Pico, he's going to know what hit him. Don't you fool yourself for a minute. Let's ducks him under that guard again, and now he's got that toe hold on Pico, and Pico flails away harmlessly at Lutz's head with that padded glove, and it doesn't bother Lutz a bit, and now he's got that top body press on P.O. Pico. Watch Max Bear work in there, fans, and he gives Nick Lutz the tap on the shoulder, and if you can believe the evidence of your eyes, well, the wrestlers are the better men. <laughs>